Hi guys, I'm an absolute fucking idiot because I recorded a whole video without actually recording it, didn't I? Yes, I am a stupid twat. But um, yeah, so today, I'm just going to keep this as brief as possible. We're going over to North and this is a can of their Lost Cosmonauts Double Dry Hopped IPA. Uh, hopped with Mosaic and Equinox, clocking in at 6% ABV. Picked us up from Tesco's, been searching for this for like ever since it came onto the, the supermarket shelves and uh, I found it in uh, what's usually a wasteland of a Tesco's in um, Bursco. So anyone in the northwest area, especially in, you know, close to, well, just outside of Merseyside, uh, Ormskirk, Liverpool, I suppose, I think you can, I don't know how you get from or why you'd want to go to Bursco in general, but um, yeah, so if you're in that area, Go check out because they have quite a lot um, of these in there. Really nothing else, but yeah, fantastic stuff. Uh, this was canned on the 15th of October 2019. Currently uh, December 2nd at approaching 2 o'clock in the morning. Just got back home from work. Stupidly decided to walk home because I'm too stingy uh, to get a taxi. Because I refuse to waste my wage getting to and from work. Because, uh, hey, I'm not paid enough as it is. But who is paid well? Unless you're very lucky or very skilled. So, uh, yeah, I was very, very happy to pick this up. This is my third can that I'm drinking now. Spoiler alert, I think it's a fantastic beer. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you for why. So, appearance, just absolutely mega. It's like every sort of lemon curd, peach compote, you name it, puree, mango, breakfast juice, however you want to label it. It's just beautiful, vibrant, bold, nothing getting through that. It looks solid, like you could dip your finger in and it'd leave a dent. And uh, when I poured it, it had about one finger's worth of a nice white head. And uh, yeah, if not for watching this... And you'd like to see um, you review your beers in uh, merch and glassware. Get in touch. Or I could just not be a stingy bastard and actually pick up some glassware and merchandise. Because I love the art direction of North. And I can't remember who does it. But I've followed them on, on Instagram. Just some of the best artwork um, for me personally. But um, yeah. Drink, drink it out of a, an, another legend of a northern brewery and uh, repping their merch as well. One of the most comfortable hoodies that I've ever had. And it's I'm so happy to see that Cloudwater are now actually using real human being sizes. Because not everybody who drinks craft beer is an uber feminine fuckboy who's like that thin. Somehow, even though they drink loads of beer, when I drink beer, it shows, as you can clearly see. But, uh, yeah, so not everyone's you know, skinny and in shape. Not everybody's part of a running or bicycle club. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's good to see Cloudwater are um, doing proper human sizes now, especially for men. Although a lot of their stuff is unisex. Well, everything's unisex because you wear what you want. It gets me so annoyed. When people say, "Oh, you can't wear that," or "You can't wear that," it's like I'm on the I'm on the hunt for some really nice skinny red jeans, and the only opportunity I've got is to buy women's red jeans. So, fuck it. If I can pull it off, show off my majestic ass, why don't I just do it? But yeah, still need to pick some up. So yeah, just wear what you want, drink what you want, do what you want. Don't infringe on anyone else. Live and let live. So on the nose. Sweet, loads of melon, pineapple, a little bit of a citrusy tang, a little bit of spiciness coming through, tropical, juicy, every word you've heard countless times before to describe a beer like this. It smells just absolutely decadent now, so let's give it a taste. Cheers. I was saying this in the original video. You're paying £3 for an upwards of £6 beer. You really, really are. 
Um, I think this is an absolute triumph of a beer. It really, really is. And uh, if they had the Brewdog and Cloudwater beer at that Tesco's, then you'd be seeing a head-to-head -head video because I think this could be the best beer on uh, the Tesco shelves. And the beer buyers, um, one of them being, is it Domo Beers or something like that? I know there's like a team of people involved in this who help out and stuff, but what they've done um, has put Tesco's you know, right up there. I mean, Tesco's have always been really good um, compared to other supermarkets with the craft stuff. I mean, who remembers the hardcore, like the, uh, the American double IPA that Brewdog did, um, brewed for... Tesco's, which I think was essentially um, just a, a, a rebranding of Jackhammer, which was an absolutely stonking beer, uh, or used to be. So Tesco's have always been a really good place. I mean, you know, I used to just get like Sierra Nevada Pale Ale all the time. One of the first places that I could get my hands on it. That's a beer I've not drank for a while because I've had a few really dodgy bottles of that recently. Well, when I used to drink it regularly. Still one of my favourite beers though. And I'd love to go to the uh, premises. But um, yeah, so you know, you're paying three quid for a six pound and upwards experience, in my opinion. Bold mouthfeel, nice and syrupy almost, oily, chewable. But yeah, it's just so good. Nice sweetness there, but there's a real bitterness on the back end, which is really welcomed. It's got spicy tones. It's got like mango chutney, pineapple pieces with a bit of the juice, you know, the tinned pineapple, big peach flavours. Then you've got a grapefruit bite, like a genuine like butt, you know, squeezing a grapefruit right into your mouth. Who hasn't done that, by the way, with no shirt and pants on? I can't be the only one who's done that, but uh, yeah, this is this is terrific. It really, really is. I'm so happy I finally got to try it, um, and hopefully next time we go, they'll have it there because I'm happy to pick up loads of cans. And the great thing, I know people have there's like a bit of a stigma when it comes to supermarket craft. Um, it's like, oh, you're taking money away from independent bottle shops. Well, if you if you still buy from independent bottle shops and then every now and then, you know, get your sort of like fridge fillers and stuff from the supermarkets. I mean, North is still, you know, going to have a great sort of reputation. It's not like they're a tiny brewery anymore. Do you know what I mean? They've got, you know, money behind them and uh, lots of, um, well, not lots of premises, but, you know, I mean, North Bar in Leeds Town Centre is just fantastic um, especially if you like uh, lovely ladies in jean shorts but I'm not sexist but um, and hey if, if one of the male staff wears them and looks good fair enough um, a wonderful arse is a wonderful arse uh, quite frankly if you've got it you should flaunt it no matter what your gender and no matter what it is I mean if I had you know a figure to show off I'd do it so, um, yeah, people have always got, I said to this beer short video, but people have gone about how like objectifying people is a bad thing. Uh, no, it's not because a lot of people who get objectified are absolutely loving it. <clears throat> Do you know what I mean? And are proud of what they have, uh, no matter what beauty standards they fall into. If you're happy with it, flaunt it. That's my ethos. There's nothing more attractive generally about a person who is happy within themselves and has something that they're not afraid to show people whether it be a physical or a personal or mental sort of thing or creative especially creativity but um yeah, where's this going um yeah so back to my point um I like to think that I, I do a fine balance of uh, when I, I've not really got the money or I can't really go to a nearest bottle shop and I'm going to a supermarket. Yeah, I'm going to stock up on affordable stuff. It's, you know, it's coming towards Christmas time. A lot of my money's been spent on 
uh, you know, friends and family. So I'm just glad that I can get hold of beers like this, which you'd be paying double or sometimes triple the price in a bottle shop that I could just stock up on and fill the fridge with and, you know, put it, you know, with your your bread and the bread and eggs when you go and shopping. I think I think it's a great way to get people into this world as well. So I don't really see the negative of it. Um, and I've not really seen any sort of, I mean, there might be, but I've not seen it, but I've not really seen any sort of uh, independent bottle shops or websites that I use who have directly suffered just because someone who cares about beer, who works in Tesco's and other supermarkets, and yeah, they might just be doing it to capitalise on the trend, which at the end of the day, I'm getting a good deal. So why would I ever complain? Anyway, I've gone well into depth on this subject loads of times. I need to do a full video about supermarket beers. Um, because I think it's a good thing. Um, I wish I had this when I was getting into beer. Um, and again, Tesco's were one of those places where I was really excited. And that's the great thing um, when you go to a place like that. Because... I used to shit myself going into bottle shops because I didn't know anything. The people who work there, of course, that's their world. And that's the world that I'm part of now. So I was like really sort of, oh, hang on a minute. But a lot of people who work in bottle shops, you know, they're just normal people. They're happy to help, give you suggestions, recommendations and that sort of thing. But it is a bit formidable when you go to like a bottle shop and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, supermarkets are a great way to, um, you know, get some cheap beers for your fridge or for a, an occasion. They're also a great way to try and get, you know, your friends and family to enjoy good, well-brewed beer as well. So I'm all for it, to be honest. And, um, when I get to drink a beer like this, which I'm going to say it now, 10 out of 10 for me. Fantastic stuff. North Brew Co. Just a lovely, wonderful brewery. And their core range is fantastic as well. Sputnik is just bang on. And uh, I mean, North brewed one of my beers of the year, 2019, which was the, uh, I can't remember what it was called, but it was the double IPA they brewed with other half. Oh my God, that was good. And this beer that I would happily buy at a bar, I'd happily get it on tap at the brewery, I'd happily pay, well, part of me wouldn't because I know I can get it for three quid, although quite rare because it's taken me over a year to pick it up and find it, but, you know, if I, if I pick this up for six quid, I would not be upset. I'd probably have a little bit of buyer's remorse like I, like I usually do, um, but from what I remember, North Bay is a really reasonably priced anyway, even when it's like a really, you know, hyped collab or seasonal release or limited run beer um, they've always been a really they've always had a really good price point anyway this isn't a discussion about north um, this is a beer review it's ended now 10 out of 10 go check out north and if i can get more cans of this i'm going to get some of the cloud water brew dog do a head to head because i think this could be the best beer in supermarkets right now if you're an ipa person so yeah, if you've tried it, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. Um, are you a fan of the brewery? Are you a fan of the beer? What are some of your favourite Tesco beers? I still need to do that video for Steve over at um, Swig and Steve's Bargain Beer Reviews. Um, I would have picked beers up for that video, but I felt like it was cheating because I was like, the selection's not good, and I'd just be picking up beers just to make the video. So um, yeah, next time I'm in Wigan, which the Wigan Tesco... <clears throat> is fantastic. Then over the road you've got Northern Beer Temple, <clears throat> one of my favourite bottle shops, which I've not been there for a while, so I'll have to do a little bit of a beer run before Christmas. Um, so yeah, Steve, if you're watching this and the video is not being uploaded and recorded, I'm going to be doing it, but I want to give you a you know an honest sort of this is like genuine beers that I would pick up and how I'd be it, it, what you know what I'm talking about anyway. It's now 10 past 2. I'm tired. I'm rambling, as I usually do, but it's a lot worse uh, since this is take 2. And I've tried to review this beer on all three cans that I've had now. So, 
Um, usually I'd have just given it up and just drank them, but I really wanted to review it because who'd have thought a beer like this from a supermarket would become such a whale? Anyway, so yeah, your thoughts, opinions, always welcome. Go check out North. And they're a brewery that I need to drink more of their beers because I've always had an absolutely fantastic experience. And I think they're one of the best breweries in the UK right now. But you already knew that. Anyway, thank you for watching and I shall hopefully see you later. Are you going to say bye-bye? Bye-bye. I fucking hate myself.